Hello. Oh, Dorothy Bakewell, the new uh, police community support officer. You answered about food. Food? If you're having a meeting, there has to be scram. Oh. Uh, well, I could put out some French bread and cheese. <laughs> the church lot had a three-course buffet and a free bar. We were all loving our neighbours by the end. Ooh. Yeah, we get everyone down here. Counsellors, charities. Hey, you can't move for do-gooders. I'm not a do-gooder. Right, what are you then? Well, I'm here to provide reassurance on the streets and tackle the menace of antisocial behaviour. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, am I speaking to Mrs. Dorothy Bakewell? Yes, this is she. Could reverse charge request from Mr. Max Bakewell? That's my son. Would you accept the charges? Um, yes, yes, you can reverse the charges. Ma'am? Hello, darling. How's the prickly heat? I'm fine, but I'm brassic again. What, you, you've run out of money already? Well, I gave the last lot to the men's to feed the starving kids. Well, how many orphanages can there be? How can you say that, Mother? Don't you read the news? Yes, yeah, yeah. Flood, earthquake, I know. All right, all right darling. Well, um, listen, I'll get Daddy to do another bank transfer. All right? Fine, I've, I've got to go. Okay. Bye. Bye. It's my son. He's on his gap year in Thailand. My son's on his gap year in the Junction Estate. Your house? Marie's. I go there after school. What's your childminder? It's all right. I'll talk to her. Well, no. She'll probably be busy. Pearl, you're not going to get into any trouble. I promise you. I knew I shouldn't have gone into that man's house. Yeah, but you did, OK? So what's going to happen now is that me, you and your mum are going to talk to a police officer. Why? Well, I think it's best if they explain. But I haven't done anything wrong. Nobody said you have. I didn't see anything. What do you mean? What didn't you see? Nothing. Pearl, they're just going to want to know what happened before I got there, OK? I'm not talking to no police officer. Oh. It's just from there. Pearl? Who are you? I'm Dr Granger. Who? I'm a GP at the Mill Health Centre. Um, Pearl says that you were looking after her. Yeah. While well, she was on her own. Where were the other kids? They went home. She's supposed to stay with the older ones. Well, she didn't. Her mum don't pay me, you know. I watch Pearl as a favour after school. When does her mum get back? Around seven. All right. Have you got a contact number? I've got a mobile somewhere. Oh, no, hang on. She's lost the charger. I tried her earlier today. Nothing. OK, uh, how about an address? Why? Because I need to speak to her. What's Pearl been saying? Nothing. Is it about me? No. There's no law that says I can't let her out to play. It's good for her to run around after a day in the classroom. The government's always going on about exercise. I know she's little, but she can look after herself. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's simply not true. There are so many dangers out there that she can't possibly be aware of. Are you going to report Mum, then? No, that's not why I'm Because Christy works long hours, you know, but she does it for Pearl. I mean, look at her. She's always dressed nice, never hand me down. Where's your cardy, the white one? I'm not here to report her. Oh, Pearl, you haven't lost it. That was brand new. Your mum's going to be really upset. I'm sorry. Look, I'd really appreciate it if you give me her address. Don't cry, OK? Look, when Mikey comes back, he'll take you out and you can have a good old look. You probably lent it to someone, eh? Look, hey, go in and watch the telly. Some sweets on the side. Go on. Right. Look, thanks for bringing her back. And I'll get what you're saying. I'll watch her better in future. And I'll tell him on what you said. But there's no need to take it any further, OK? Well, I haven't finished yet. You didn't give me an address. Marie! 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 I don't think she wants to talk to you. It, it's all right. I'm a doctor. It's fine. Marie! Yes? Hilary Benson? Yes? I'm Dr Hassan. You had an appointment at the mill this morning. Oh, <gasps> I forgot. Dr Clay asked me to check on you. No. Well, if it's convenient, how's your angina? Oh, <laughs> do you know, I, I haven't even thought about it. It happened just down there, you know, the murder. We're all in a state of shock. Oh, come in. Oh. 
This is my neighbour, Marie. All right. Uh, do you mind if she's present while I examine you? Oh, no. Are you ill? No, it's just my heart. I have to take pills. Oh, would you sit down, Mrs. Benson? <sighs> He's still not picking up. He could have left his phone somewhere. He can see it's me calling. Who are you trying to locate? My son, Mikey. I've not really seen him since, you know, the stabbing. Oh, we'll be with his mates. If they've got any sense, they'll behave themselves, let the police get on. <sighs> nah, it's just ringing out. His mates? Is that the junction crew? Yeah. They weren't involved, though. Or if they were, then Mikey didn't know anything about it. Not that he talks to me much anymore. So what do you think he's doing? I don't know. I mean, before this, it was probably just tagging or messing about, but now... He's had some run-ins with the police. Uh, just for possession. And it was only weed. He's not violent. Never fight unless he had to. But the gang's all about front, isn't it? You could only worry so much. If Mike is anything like my son, he won't want you interfering. But I'm his mum. If it goes wrong for him, then it's my fault. <sighs> I never pushed him at school. I let him skive because it was easier. There's so much else I could have done. Oh, I'm sure you did the best you could in the circumstances. No, well. I didn't. I was useless. And I'm not being funny, but we hardly knew each other till yesterday. I think you need to remind him where his home is and however grown up he thinks he is. I suspect he needs you now more than he knows. I know you can't hold on to your kids forever. They grow up and fly away, whatever you do. Oh, well, this is my daughter, Rebecca. Oh, she's done very well. <laughs> she lives in Kings Heath. In a house with three bathrooms. That's a lot of cleaning. Oh, she has a Polish girl. She's right, the doctor. If I want to show Mikey where his home is, then I've got to give him something to come home to. What are you looking for? A cup box. I could have a meal in the oven ready for him. Like, you know, in that gravy advert. I could smell it from down the stairs. <laughs> Hello, Mum. Rebecca! You're OK, then? You haven't been answering your phone. Oh, I've just been in and out. Oh, well, this is Marie, my daughter, Rebecca. You look just like your photo. Well, I would. Uh, Marie lives next door. Her son's the same age as the boy that got killed. I see. Your mum's been brilliant. I was in a bit of a mess, to be honest, cos... Well, all I could think of was Mikey. But she made me cups of tea. She sat up with me all night. Now it's almost like I've moved in. Right, well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to move out. Just while I have a chat with Mum. Yeah, of course. Right. I'll see you later, anyway. It's a shame she didn't make more of an effort to get to know you before. I wish I'd known you were coming. Well, n never mind all that. Um, I want you to pack your things and come home with me. What? This place is awful, Mum. Stabbings, gangs roaming the streets, children selling drugs. You could be mugged or burgled or just too scared to go out. But I'm not. I'm inviting you to stay with me and Ray, just until the police sort things out. Oh! Oh dear! No! Madam, you're going to have to put that away. It's wine for me cooking. It only costs 149. No, but this is an alcohol-free zone. Uh, since when? Since the council designated it one. I mean, it's for the community's benefit, to deter congregations of youths. Ah, uh, well, there's only one of me. A rule for one is a rule for all. I must ask you to seal the bottle, or I'll have to confiscate it. I know you don't, huh? Oh, it's your son. Did his money arrive? Oh, yes. Where is he again? At uh, Thailand. Oh, yeah. That's the place in that film with the bloke off the Titanic and all them drugs. Are you still there? Uh, what's all that? I've got every single thing from the recipe book, except the parsley. Oh, well done. But I'll have to use your kitchen, is that OK? Cos I've only got two rings working on my cooker. And I haven't got an oven-proof dish. Oh, well, you've got all your packing to do. What? Oh, nothing. You go on up. <laughs> Your daughter told me about the visit. You must be very relieved. Are you sure this girl's soft in the oven? Didn't you do any cookery at school? My mum never used to buy me this stuff. I used to sit in the corner and cut out the pictures. Oh. I bet you never forgot Rebecca's ingredients, though, eh? She didn't like cookery. Said it encouraged female oppression. She wanted to be a businesswoman back then. 
Really? I wanted to be a paediatric nurse. <laughs> right. You ready? Uh, What's that smell? Oh, hi there. We're cooking lasagna. Mum? I don't want to go. It feels like rats leaving a sinking ship. What are you talking about? You're not responsible for her. This was your home too, not so long ago. Yes, and I worked hard to get out. You got married. I had a job first. How else would I have met a man like Ray? I made something of myself. I made an effort. I'm sorry, Rebecca, but Marie needs me. What am I going to tell Ray? I've made the spare room up already. not like an old person at all. Well, she's 75. She's not as young as she looks. I know about her art. I'm going to do a shopping from now on. I want her to come home with me. That, that's why I've come back. Oh? She didn't say? No. She's got it into her head she ought to stay here. Well, I can look after her. And there's my mic if there's ever any trouble. Yeah, but you can't stay with her all the time. There's just been a murder. The situation could turn violent any minute. Don't take her away. She likes it here. And she's teaching me how to cook. Marie. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, look, I haven't really been sleeping. Look, let me give you a lift to the shop. In there? Yeah. Marie? It's Hilary. The hour's up. See how the cheese has gone all brown on top. What's that? It's your lasagna. I think you were fibbing about it being your first one. OK! Ah! It's hot! Oh! 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 Just go away! Oh. What is it? Uh, she took the dish. It was straight out of the oven. Oh, come on, look sharp. Let's get those hands under water. Don't you touch me, you witch! Marie, don't be silly. Listen, drink. She's inebriated. Probably can't oh. even feel any pain. Oh, she can. Look how she's holding her hands. Oh. I'm going to give the doctor a ring. Oh, we've just had another call from the Junction Estate. Nothing serious, I hope. No, but I think this stabbing has really upset people. Oh! Oh! Hello? Oh! What are you doing? Oh, What's happened to her? She's burnt herself. And she's been oh. drinking. Look, doctor Hassan will be here soon. She's still on the estate doing a house call. You've called the doctor out? My feelings, exactly. You can't call them out for a burn. Put some water on it. Just go, my flat! Oh. Oh. What happened? Marie, can you hear me? What has she taken? She's drunk. And a couple of cans of cider, I don't think so. Marie, have you smoked anything? Taken any pills? From her? Show me. Oh, I didn't... Um, oh, look, come on, we haven't got time for this. Oh. I only gave her one, just to calm her down a bit. You said she was in a state about her son. Well, she didn't need any pills. She was using you like a crutch. She had to let go. She must be having an idiosyncratic reaction. Her nervous system's reacting the opposite way the medication intends, whereas a normal patient would feel calm and relaxed. Marie's feeling anxious. Hostile, paranoid. I had no idea. The pill didn't agree with you, Marie. It's a type of benzodiazepine. It acts on your central nervous system. And it must have some quite strong hypnotic properties as well. You'll feel better when the effects of the drug wear off. Is there anyone you want us to call? We saw Mikey. Oh, I'll do that. OK. I want you to put your hands in the water. OK. Put your hands in the water. That's it. Okay. Can you stay with her a minute? Uh -huh. oh. oh, hello, Mikey. Hello. It's Hilary Benson from next door. Uh, your mum's not very well. <coughs> oh, it went dead. 
You do realise it's illegal to share prescription medication? No. Some benzodiazepines are Class C drugs, so in theory you could be charged with supplying. Like a drug pusher? Oh, Rebecca! Don't worry, I'm sure the police have enough on their hands. Where did you get them? On the internet. It's a proper pharmaceutical website. They have a qualified doctor attached. Has he met you? Taken a medical history? Oh, no, but I know what I need. My old doctor used to give me them, or something similar. What? When? It was a couple of years ago. I didn't tell you. But then he moved on and the new doctor wouldn't give me any more. That's because long-term benzodiazepine use can lead to some form of tolerance or dependence. They're only meant for short-term treatment. But I'm fine. You can't be if you're physically dependent on a psychoactive drug. But I try and have days where I don't have anything. It doesn't work like that. You have to taper off gradually or you get withdrawal symptoms. That's the problem with this class of drug. You can become anxious, depressed, your senses get distorted, your perceptions disturbed. It can be as bad as trying to kick heroin. You won't take this any further. Me? What do I know? I didn't phone the doctor. I thought the woman was a lush. And I admired you for taking your mother away. It's since the children have gone, I, I just need something to take the edge off, or I think too much. I know what it's like, having acres of time and no idea how to fill it. Well, y you've got a job. Yeah, still making a mess of things. Yeah, come on. I hope you don't mind, the door was open. Are you all right? Yes. Did you talk to Rebecca? I don't know what to say. I always thought she had her life just right. It can be hard to admit that everything's not perfect. I always thought it was me, though, that I was the worry. Uh, is it a bit like Valium, what she's taking? It's the same group of drugs. Mm. Used to call it mother's little helper. <laughs> but some women had problems with it even then. Will she manage to stop taking it? She will if she reduces the dose slowly enough over a period of months. I've suggested she go and see her own doctor, ask to be put on a withdrawal management programme. I'm not the one who needs rescuing at all. No. I'd better go and pack. <laughs> For I will raise her statue in pure gold That while Verona by that name is known There shall no figure at such rate be set As that of true and faithful Juliet Go hence to have more talk of these sad things Some shall be pardoned and some punished For never was a story of more woe Than this of Juliet and her Romeo